This rifle has been absolutely changing the way I feel about Call of the Wild, and honestly, I feel like it's probably because it's one of the most challenging and the funnest rifles that you can use. It's been changing everything about this game, and because of that, I thought we'd take it out to Africa and take it out for some of the biggest, most toughest game there is. We got a decent Warhog right out here, and he's actually feeding pretty broadside there. We're going to go for our first shot. He's about 130 yards out there, so I think if we zero for 160, we should be able to make this happen. Ooh, that was actually... Okay, Buffalo calling, and we definitely want to make sure we get eyes on them. Hold up. We got, looks like, a couple of female out there. So yeah, let's get back over here and go for a shot on this Warthog. It's a decent three. He's actually goal potential. I'm not even sure if we can technically use this on the Warthog or not, but we're going to try. And what a shot indeed. We just absolutely freaking dropped that thing. Oh my god, there's a giant brown mythical cape coming right towards us, you guys. Holy, he's going to come past 120 yards out from us. We're going to reload, get ready. And line up for a shot. All right, that looked to be a good shot there. Oh my God, I think it was a good shot, you guys. I think it was a good shot. Percentage is dropping pretty nicely. Oh yeah, he's going down. He is going down right there. Massive mythical cape just piled up. Holy, that was awesome. I believe that was the only male in that whole entire herd as well. And it just happened to be a freaking giant mythical. Now, the next thing is, hopefully we only hit him twice. And I think we actually might have. Because the first shot we missed. Second shot, I think we might have hit him. Third shot we missed. And then the fourth shot is pretty much the uh, vital hit. At least that's what I would assume. So let's go over here and find out where we hit on this cape. And there's some really good blood right there. But there's also some blood right here. So I believe this is the first spot that we hit him. There's no other blood around here. And that's where we took our first shot. But our warthog is piled up right here. Let's see how we did. A double lung heart shot, baby, at 130 yards. Wow, what a shot. 44 gold. That shot is so impressive at 130 yards. He's a sweet looking warthog as well. All right, let's go over here and find out how we did on our huge mythical cape. So again, our first shot is right here, no organs hit. And the second shot, well, technically it would have been like the third or fourth shot. Actually, that's probably the second shot right there. Cause the first shot was up there and it must've been a clean miss. And then we finally did hit him right there. And the third shot I think missed, but the fourth shot obviously got ourselves a nice vital hit. And he piled up right on top of this ridge. Got some more good blood there. And our cape is piled up right over here. This could be our biggest cape buffalo with the 4570 ever. It's going to be a 144 gold and we actually only hit him twice. The second shot. Whew. Uh, I can't say how lucky we just got. But that shot nearly hit him in the skull. And had we hit him in the skull, it would have definitely damaged the trophy organs. And that would have gave us a silver. But because the penetration isn't that great with the 4570 and we hit... I guess we like hit the horn and skull. So... In effect, the horn took over and slowed down that bullet enough to where it couldn't quite make it to the skull. But also, we were a half an inch off from hitting the neck and potentially dropping that thing right on the spot. That was 110 yards on the run, but our follow-up shot was an incredible right lung liver shot at 110 yards. And that is what took him down, 96% on the percentage.
But there we go. A massive brown mythical cape buffalo. Boy, was that incredible. I mean, you couldn't have timed that out any more perfect than that right there. Taking down our first warthog, and all of a sudden this massive mythical cape comes running right past us at 100 yards. All right, we're closing in right on the 180 yard mark here, and there's a big seven, but I just can't figure out where he's at. Got a five, a female, there's another female there. I don't know where he went. I know he's definitely around here, and I'm trying to figure out if we can get on top of this rock. Oh, come on. Get up there. There we go. Okay, that's good. Hopefully, we didn't scare the crap out of everything. And there he is right there. 150 yards. We found our big seven. That shot looked good. It looked really good. Oh, my God. He's coming at us. He is coming at us. Our goal is hopefully that that shot... We'll take him down. Oh my god. What the heck did we hit? We did not connect on that shot somehow. I don't know how, but somehow we did not connect. I don't know if we got intestine or what happened, but... That shot definitely connected. <gasps> Whoa! Well, that'll take him down. I'm actually really curious where we hit on that first shot. Because, wow. Unless we got him the spine, which in a sense would be vertebrae, I don't know what else we could have hit. Ooh, we got more calling down here. That's a female, but where there's a female, there definitely could be some big bulls. Right over there. Two females. That's it. Two females. Oh, hey, our cape's piled up right here. All right, how did we do on that first shot? 8%. Okay, then. Uh, that was definitely a lung hit. I mean, you could argue and say we hit a little too far forward. And the front shoulder's right there. But you could also argue and say that that should have hit lung. Because, I mean, that's definitely lung. So anyways, our follow-up shot did connect. We got him on the run as he was coming at us. And we got shoulder blade and lung. So maybe at 150, we actually do lose a good chunk of penetration. And that could have prevented us from getting a vital hit on that cape. But still got him a nice 126 gold. All right, so we saw that the 4570 doesn't exactly work the greatest past 150 yards. So what we decided to do is post up at this water hole. And this time, we might not be doing the smartest thing because we're actually posted up less than 50 yards away from where they're supposed to drink. That means when they come in, they're going to be right on top of us. Oh my god, here they come. Here they come. We just got a call from a female cape right over there. That means the rest of them should be following close behind. Oh, we got eyes, we got eyes, we got eyes. Ooh, got a couple of female coming right out in the front. Right out in the front. They're not exactly as close as I was anticipating them on being, but they're still pretty close. I mean, 80 yards away from some massive Cape Buffalo. To me, that's pretty close in my books, but not exactly what we're looking for. We're hoping to find a nice big male or a big bull. Ooh. What do we got coming in here? Another female. And another female. But we're gonna call from some more over here. Now when these things come out, they're gonna be right on top of us. Female, female, female. So we got all cows over here. So far. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my god, nice six, nice six coming in, nice six. We're talking 50 yards out from us though. I'm hoping a big bull comes out. It's a decent six, but he's not giant. I know there's some massive sevens and even some mythicals out here, but I don't know if we're gonna get lucky enough to get them if this thing's already noticing us here. He's only 30 yards out. Come on, tell me that's a big bull. It's another six. Oh, what's this? A female trotting right past us. Oh, 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 what do we got? What do we got? Oh, another female. Come on. 
Where are the big bulls at? Oh my god. But I honestly feel like as long as we wait here long enough, eventually these bulls might try and attack us. And that wouldn't be a bad situation. Dude, these buffalo are all alert at this time. Every single one of them is alert. What do we got in here? Come on, what do we got? Come on, big bull. Give me a big bull. Oh my god, there he is. Big bull coming out. Big bull coming out. Seven yards out. Let's get ready, guys. Big bull stepping out. There he is. Should have smoked him. Tried for a heart shot. We're going for a follow-up. He's absolutely hammered that time. He's going down, guys. We got him. I'm not sure what happened with that first shot, to be honest. I tried for heart, but I did not see the percentage go down. So I'm not sure if we hit above the heart or what happened, but that follow-up shot looked really good. Oh, yeah, that's a vital hit. We got him. That is, in fact, a nice vital hit. All right. So he was running this way, and our follow-up shot looks like it connected pretty good as well. Oh, so one shot with a 4570 doesn't really do that much to them. Wow. But two shots does a lot. We got a path going through here, but I don't see any more blood. This may not be the brightest idea to go through here. It's way too thick. Oh my god, our buffalo is piled up right here, you guys. Holy, there he is. He's going to be a 128 gold. And our first shot actually did get lung. But we were a little bit too far back. Still made an excellent, excellent shot. But that was only 63% on the health. The follow-up shot got him on the run. And we did, in fact, make an epic running lung shot there. We were holding right for the back of the neck. And caught him right through the center of the lung at 80 yards out. There we go. Wow. Wow. So, in that case there, patience definitely paid off. And we got ourselves a huge bull cape buffalo down. Ooh, we got a lioness out there. Let's actually see if we can't, in fact, go for a shot on her. About 160 yards out. Well, actually, she's probably 180. No. You're kidding me. You're going to tell me we just dropped that lioness on the walk at 180 yards? Wow. I guess so. I mean, I don't think we honestly could have done that with the AR-308, even though it's more accurate. And it has a scope. But here he is. Actually, here she is. Right here. Actually got a walking double lung spine shot at 175 yards. I'll take that all day. What a nice shot. And a couple of gums back out there. Nothing real impressive. Decent four. Oh, a wildebeest out there too. One lone wildebeest. Like that. Two wildebeest. There's another one right there on the walk. 180 yards out. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? No. <laughs> He's laying right there. We dropped him again. That's two back-to-back -back animals at 180 yards on the walk, open sights, and we dropped him with the 4570. So honestly, when we took that shot, I thought he dropped, but then I saw him run again. So I thought, okay, maybe we didn't hit him as good as I thought. And next thing you know, oh, there's some more wildebeest out there. And there's a real nice one, a big four out there at about 390 yards out. I'm pretty sure that's him. In fact, let me check. Yeah, that's him. Sure is. And we got a call from a Gemsbach. Actually, that's that herd of Gemsbach out there. So what do we have to take the shot on this thing? Oh, we do have the AR. All right, let's bust out that AR. And go for about a 400-yard shot here. 
which will be right here. And let's majorly mess up the shot, apparently. Did I really mess up that shot that bad? Wait, where is he? Why am I not seeing him? What in the heck is going on? Uh, well, we definitely did not mess up the shot. That was odd because I was trying to spot it. And I thought I spotted it, but the percentage wasn't dropping at all. And next thing you know, I couldn't find him running away. So obviously we made a good shot. Um, just, I don't know how good or where it even went. But let's stop by here and pick up our wildebeest, which we got on the trot, 180 yards. Here he is, and our shot actually got him in the neck. Skull, neck bone. How in the heck could that shot not drop that wildebeest? That's kind of interesting. I mean, a pretty epic shot at that. Luckily, it wasn't that big, 30.96. But it was a pretty epic shot, 190 yards on the run, right in the neck. Let's go over here and get this big wildebeest now, and then we'll switch back into this water hole to try and find a big line. All right, so our wildebeest was over here somewhere. In fact, I believe that's actually not his track, but he was definitely over here somewhere. He was right here. He was right here, and that's a vital hit. He ran off this way. 25%, but we've already tracked him over 200 yards. And he's only at 25%. Clearly, we only got a single lung. But I would have thought it would have went down way quicker than that. We got our wildebeest piled up right here, but we're also getting a call from something else down over this ridge. So we'll be ready in case something jumps up. I can't tell if it's a wildebeest or a gemsbach. All right, let's see how we did. That shot was a 400 yard lung shot and it was actually going perfectly straight for the heart, but it couldn't quite make it there. In fact, we're talking about like maybe an eighth of an inch from hitting the heart. Like it was going perfectly straight for the heart. But yeah, he went a long ways. He's a massive wildebeest as well. And he's going to be a 35.45 gold. Ended up weighing 563 pounds. That was a 400 yard, super, super epic shot. Wow, just when I thought we were done getting wildebeest, we spotted a pretty much guaranteed diamond wildebeest out there. 400 yards out. Now this thing is so big that we're definitely going to have to take him down with the 4570. The wind is shifting off to the east side. So we're going to work our way up over the top of this mountain and kind of come in right over this ridge, looking down this ravine. And we should be able to get within about 80 yards for a shot. But boy, is that wildebeest absolutely massive. All right, guys, we just got to the top of this ridge here, and now we're trying to figure out exactly where our wildebeest is at. He's just down over there somewhere. But the thing is, he can't see us. However, we also can't see him, so we got to be careful and not try and potentially spook this thing. But I'm pretty sure we should be about 150 yards out at this point. Oh my god, there he is. He's right there. He is right there. So we're not going to have any cover here. That means we got to get as low as possible. But our wildebeest is right there, 70 yards out. Not a good angle for a shot. Absolutely not a good angle for a shot. I think what we might have to do is get him to stand up. And then we'll go for the shot. But I feel like at this point, it's probably our best bet. So what I want to do is take a shot. And that should get his attention. All right, guys, here we go, here we go, here we go. He's up, he's up, he's up, he's up. Let's wait for the right moment. <laughs> ah. 
I mean, he's actually angled perfect for a shot. He really is. But that's not what I was planning on happening. Uh, I was hoping he was going to stay standing up for a couple more seconds. So now we got to kind of square up a little bit more. Not that I don't mind that shot. It's just that his hind quarter is kind of covering half the vitals there. 67. Well, I'm thinking if we hold for the heart, we should be good. Smoked him. He's going down, guys. He's going down. And he just tipped over. Right there. Oh, that was so cool. All right, let's get over here and go take a look. I'm just surprised we got that close to this massive wildebeest. And he never even spooked. I mean, we had good cover. That goes to show you. If you have good cover, you can get really close. And honestly, he was sitting right here. But if you look back, you can see, like, if you're laying prone, you're not going to see anything. Even though he was big and old and smart. He couldn't figure out where we were at. But it's going to be a diamond. Yes. 38.07 diamond. Actually a pretty big diamond for a level 4. 606 pounds. We made a left lung liver shot. Quartering away at 67 yards. There we go. A giant diamond wildebeest. With a 4570. And open sights. All right, we got him mounted. Now we got to get over here, like I was saying for the last 20 minutes, and actually find a nice line. That was our main goal, but we keep getting sidetracked from all these other things. Not that it's a bad thing, though. But eventually we do really want to get a line. We no more than just turn the corner, and all of a sudden we spotted a nice line right out there. Ooh, and there he is right there. It's a level five. He's about 70 yards out from us, quartering directly away from us. What we're going to try and do is get as close as we can without spooking him. And then when he turns, we're going to take the shot. At this point now, we are less than 50 yards away. Oh my God. This is pretty intense. I don't know how to explain it to you guys, but I'm starting to shake quite a bit. All we gotta do is get him to turn broadside at this point, and we're gonna take a shot. But any of you guys that hunt lions know how much of a rush this actually is. And I can't believe how close we're getting to this thing. I absolutely cannot believe how close we are to this lion. This is truly way too close for one. And a bit unbelievable for two. Oh, oh, he's right there. Oh my God. I don't even know what to do to get him to turn at this point. We absolutely cannot get any closer. We cannot get any closer to this thing. I am not even gonna think about getting closer because at that point, at that point we can't even react. Um. Yeah, uh, we could try and go left a little bit more, maybe? <gasps> I can't believe he's still calm. I mean, we have good cover, but... Well, we could definitely take a shot right there. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Holy! Holy! Oh no! Oh. <gasps> wow. Now we have to go all the way over there to get him. I told you guys, it's an absolute rush to hunt the lion. Oh my god, that was a rush. The thing is, I had absolutely no clue that he was going to react the way he did. 
and take off after us after he got shot. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, there's our lion piled up right there. Look at that. Look at that. Well, we didn't have to look very hard for him. And the thing is, I'm pretty sure we hit him both times in the vitals. So I thought that second shot would have dropped him. But instead, nope. He just comes right at us. And takes us out. Well, here he is. First shot was left lung, liver, and stomach. Literally couldn't have much more than that if we tried. Like, perfect, perfect shot. It was only a 28-yard shot. I still cannot believe we got to 28 yards away from this line. And then the follow-up shot got him on the run coming at us, and we actually should have gotten a heart shot. It was going straight for the heart, and that almost dropped him right on the spot. But, unfortunately for us, he kept on coming and took us out. But, there we go. We did, in fact, get our first big male lion down. Well, he's not exactly big, but you know what I mean. Oh my god. You know how they say, be careful what you wish for? Well, in this case here, we got exactly that. We actually have three huge lions out here, and there's a big old level 7 right there. He's actually in the back, right behind this one. There's a 5 there, a 6 there, and a big level 7 right behind. Now, in this case here, I don't exactly know how we're going to get to him without getting mauled by the other two. But we're going to give it our best shot, just like we always do. And that's all we can do. Where is he? Oh yeah, he's definitely coming in. So I suppose if we can get a six, I'll settle for that. Eventually we may go back after that seven. But for now, if we can get a six, I'll be happy. He's about 168 yards right there. Not ideal for an angle like that. But we might not have a choice. We may have to go for the shot. Oh my god. No, I'm zero for 50. What the son of a... Literally would have been an absolute perfect shot. And we're zero for 50 because we got so close to that last lion. Well, we still somehow got it. I mean, I guess we hit low lung, maybe? <laughs> wow. How lucky can we get? I mean, to be honest, the shot was not lucky at all. The shot was perfect. But the fact that we were able to connect when we were zeroed for 50 and he was 100, probably 180 yards out there, that's a bit of luck. Definitely a good bit of luck. Got a lioness right there. Oh, she is smoked. You know how you can just tell sometimes? Well, that time I could tell. Blood looks decent. We got vitals. I don't know how, but we got vitals. And I'm not going to complain about that. Oh, no. I'm just so glad that we didn't, in fact, mess that up after all that. All right, so we got blood this way. Heading over here. That big level seven. Oh, there's our, our line piled up right there. But our seven is probably bedded over here somewhere, and I definitely want to go try and find him. But for now, here is our line. Oh my god! Get your rifle out, dude! Holy! We hit him! We actually... I don't know how we hit him. I really don't know how in the heck we hit him. He was so close. He was literally, he was literally like two yards away from us. Um, 
But our lion is right here. Let's find out how we did. Dude, a double lung shot. Wow. So we just dropped a little bit low. That's it. We're zeroed for 50 yards and we hit a 170 yard double lung shot on that lion. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of speechless to be honest. Like I figured if we're holding for right here, which in reality I was holding for here, it should have dropped down and hit here. But because we were a little bit higher than what I should have been, I mean, it was still perfect. Let's, let's be real. But we were holding for here, which in a sense would have been here. And that gave us that bit of drop. So we had a little bit of leeway there and ended up making a perfect shot on that line. Now, the next question is, what was this line? I don't know. But we're definitely about to find out. Oh my God, I think it was a seven. It's a max weight lion track. It's a max weight lion track. And I think it might've been the seven. He came by so fast. I literally tried to pull out the uh, rifle, but it wouldn't let me. I tried to three different times and it would not let me. And finally it was able to pull out and we took off the shot. And as you can see right here, lays our line. Could it be our big seven? Is the question. It's even bigger. Oh my God. A freaking eight mythical. 47.19 running wide open at 4.5 yards away. I think we were holding for like right here, but because it was so close, we only had about six inches of pushback there for a shot and ended up getting an absolutely dead centered, perfect double lung shot wide open on the run. I mean, look at the speed of this line. Look at how far out that thing's legs are stretched. You can imagine how fast that thing was hauling. Just absolutely hauling through there. And he got smoked with the 4570. Wow. But anyways, we definitely got what we came for. And that is a massive line. In fact, we got one that was even bigger than what I could have anticipated. A huge eight mythical lion on the run at four yards with the 4570 and open sights. And we smoked him. But that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Oh, and also, I appreciate all of your guys' ideas. I really take them to heart. And I also appreciate your comments as well. They mean a lot to me. So thank you so much. And yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Let me know any thoughts that you guys have. I really, really appreciate them.